today I'm going to be showing you how to download content to Trains Railroad Simulator. Today I'm using a Trains 2012, but this applies to all years of the Train Simulator. I'll start off with downloading from Trains Download Station. What you do is you can either click the, the download link here, or this one. In this case I'm going to be clicking on the top one and clicking the OK and here it will pop up in download helper as you can see up in the left corner there right there I'll click the start button and it is starting to download as you can see the blue mark is going to slowly move across the screen if you have a first class ticket which you do have to pay for it will go much quicker and it doesn't cost that much and today I do not have one so this is what it's, the speed that it's going to be downloading without a first class ticket while we wait on this to download I'll show you how to download from a site that's not um, for train for that's not the download station um, in this case I have joinedrail.com they're one of my best one of my favorite places that makes trains content really high quality. What you'll do here, in this case, there'll be a link to download it. Click on the link. That should say Content Manager. Click the OK button. And then in this case, I already have one started, so you don't have to watch the whole thing. Download. And it's going to download. See, downloading there. Take a couple seconds. And then when it is finished downloading, you can exit out of that. And it will start to pop up in Content Manager. In this case, it's not because I already have it downloaded. but it would uh, download to the download station or download to the download helper and then in 2012 it automatically commits it to the game but in 2006 and you will have to highlight the item that you want to commit to the game and click the control button the CTRL on your keyboard and the M and it will pop up a little box that says committing asset and then it'll be committed and you'll see it in the game as you can just see here finish downloading it's refreshing or not responding but there we go and now that item is downloaded to the game that you can see it's finished downloading by the little check that's appeared there and also why I'm showing you this, I'll show you how to uh, install c content that might be missing an asset or something. This isn't missing one, but I'll just do this one here. It'll have, if it's faulty, right there, it'll have a little, that'll be red, telling you it's missing something. So what you do is you click on it, drag it over to here, click the start button, and it will automatically do download the missing dependencies and it should, if in case it's not working in your game. That's how you download and fix stuff in Trains 2012 in the Trains Railroad Simulator. So if you have, anyone have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll respond to them as soon as I can.